This is Twit. So I have been playing around with a new phone. And when I play around with a new phone, I like to try and get into the aesthetics, see if I can make my own, um, my home screen and everything just kind of match all nicely. Um, And also I'm switching phones soon, but I don't want to leave the launcher that I have. So... I went in search of an icon changer because every time I find an icon changing app, the one that I was using beforehand usually gets uh, deprecated and then I can't use it anymore. So that's a bummer. This one is called X icon changer, customize app icon and shortcut. Um, So it works kind of how you would expect an icon changer to work in the sense that, um, since it's not a launcher, what it's doing is it's actually creating like a little widget for you when you're changing the icon. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to like follow along here on my, uh, on my phone. Wow. I'm a little rusty doing these. (laughs) So (laughs) (laughs) So what you do is you log in, you search for the app that you want, the app icon that you want to change, and then you can choose from a, you can choose from your library. Um, you can choose a photo, you can snap a photo, you can take a photo, choose a photo from the gallery. And when you choose a photo from a gallery, it lets you go into different icon packs so that you can choose the individual icon. Um, it also lets you, I don't actually know how to use this part, but you can apparently map it to a different app if you want to, that sort of thing. And then when it's done, when it's ready, it creates a little widget for you on the desktop and then you can move it around the home screen wherever you would like for it to be. If you don't have any icon packs installed, it actually has icon packs pre-installed. It has, I think, seven different aesthetics that you can choose from, uh, icon aesthetics. It um, is kind of just a nice, easy way to go in, change an icon. Um, On some phones, the only thing to pay attention to is that it will add a little watermark, but you can remove that if you go into your Google settings. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, The only thing about this app that you might run into, which I wish there was a pay to remove ads feature because you will have to watch an ad every time you change an app. But if all you want to do is change a couple of apps on the home screen just for aesthetics purposes, the way that I do, I find that this is kind of an easy, free way to do it. And you don't have to worry about changing the entire launcher. Um, The app also has really good ratings, 4.4 right now out of um, 15, a little over 15,000. So kind of a nice thing to keep in mind. And it's regularly updated. So another thing to keep in mind. So if you're looking just for an easy way to change some icons, X icon changer. X icon changer. X icon changer. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> nice choice. 